Last week, we learned how to describe the kinematics, the position, velocity, and acceleration of a point on a mechanical system in a single fixed reference frame, just like the one I'm drawing here. And examples of some of the systems that we covered were a particle that could freely move about in a plane. Uh, we also looked at the motion of a point on a rigid body that could move about on the plane. We made things a little bit more complicated and looked at the motion of a particle on a rigid body where the rigid body could also move about. And lastly, we looked at several different systems comprised of multiple rigid bodies where the rigid bodies were connected or linked together uh, through different types of joints. And we expressed the motion of a point in those systems. And so this week, we're going to again cover how to describe kinematics of a point on a mechanical system. And in fact, many of the example systems from last week will be reused this week. However, we're now going to express the kinematics uh, using multiple reference frames as opposed to just one. But before we dive right into examples, we're going to first review how to describe the motion of a reference frame. Because just like rigid bodies, reference frames can also translate and rotate. And we'll cover how to describe uh, specifically the rotational motion of a reference frame in the next video.